Hello, welcome back to my channel. This is Saturday, so I'm gonna do lip stream, continue my um, latest videos, converting HTML template to bricks to WordPress using Bricks Builder. And let's see how far I get. Um, the last time is uh, I did create recent work, recent works, and let's see. So this is the HTML template. Um, e this section, yeah, yeah. So um, the what I'm gonna do is creating this slider. Um, as usual, um, um, I need to disable the script first since um, it might be um, a HTML tag that generated by the script and I don't wanna have that okay let's open up our console and let's see uh, there is two choice actually like um, do I wanna create a slider using um, this script um, the script from the HTML template or do I wanna use um the slider element from the bricks builder okay let's see so it's using um mm, slick slick slide um i think i'm gonna try like using the slick slide which come from template so let's edit page let's go to the builder and let's see <coughs> okay let's add some testimonial yeah. testimonial area area okay let's create div and name it to section testimonial then change the tag to section and then add a class name yeah as usual the usual routine when we um, converting the HTML template is mostly uh, creating the same structure the same the HTML structure and the same class name, same the attribute. Um, div. Renaming the um, the element structure on the right panel is will help us to um, different see it which element uh, we are we are working now it's better than to live like this the, the default name of the element uh, it's better to uh, have your own naming system yep and we have row to mm, its container for our title and subtitle row call lg12 so let's add two div one is row and one inside that Ooh. okay class name is row and name it call up ah I did something wrong I did something wrong you yeah like this all right um 
span for subtitle and then heading to for a subheading hey, subheading heading subheading yeah. heading subheading so let's add div and then span um, I'm gonna use basic text and heading to use the heading element okay let's put the basic text first inside the div and oops okay mm, title basic text span wrap with span change it to span and let's add class name text white and let's put the text and then change the heading to um, heading to tag and add a text white class name and let's put our text all right and let's see if um, if I have a same structure for a slider um, I want to see like uh, whether the the look um, within the builder is, is good or no I need to try that so let's ah I, I don't know let's add this so it's below the row below the row we have a div with a class name slide area slider uh, slide slider and the class name is slider area and this is a slider item um, there is two way no uh, not two way but I think I'm, I'm thinking of creating a static um, item or uh, using a dynamic item by creating a custom post type um, maybe let's add custom post type aja lah. let's add some custom post type for testimonial so we can have a dynamic data okay activate and the item should has um the image maybe i can use this like, like post title this is like and for the image is using feature image and this um, using post content and but this i i i need to have a one custom field a letter i'm gonna use um as you saw i'm i'm, I'm the i am a scf user so I, I i'm thinking using that plugin to create a custom field and let's testimony testimonial testo okay mm, let's add and mm, let's see let's see ah, I need to disable the cotton book I don't like the cotton book um, let's open up our visual code and oops where is the folder I think this Alright, let's disable the Gartenberg 
um, using the snippet. Um, actually, I already have one, I think. Um, I always put the disable Gothenburg snippet on WordPress. Ah, here. Disable Gothenburg. Alright, save it and let's try. Okay, good. Hmm, now let's add a custom field. I'm gonna use SEF. The free version uh, is enough, I think, to create one simple text custom field. Um, where is that? Yeah, here. <coughs> well, let's activate. And let's add a field. Um, add new, and let's name it as um testimon testimonial field. Um, add a text field label. This is for um occupation yeah occupation just like occupation field name um text type uh, field type text yeah i think the text should be enough and don't forget to show this field group if post type is equal to testimonial all right let's see um, let's add add item a post item okay I'm gonna use the name as a post title the um, test the testimonial text as a post content and um, this picture okay let's see Where is my template folder? Um, let's see. Asset image icon. Asset image icon. Testimonial people three. Testimonial people two. Testimonial people. Oh yeah, there's only two image on the template file. So let's um, just drag and drop aja. And the occupation is okay. Let's just copy and paste the text. Yep. Uh, let's add new um, All right I need to add like one two three four one two three four five five posts on the um, testimonial post type the filter
there's a comment that uh, my keyboard is too loud and I apologize since yeah, the keyboard is not really good it's produced so much loud when I typing let's see if I can change it maybe on the next month <coughs> I think this is the last item. Yeah, this is the last item, the fifth item of the testimonial. So I think we are done with this um, custom post type. Okay, let's see. And slider wrapper, slider area. Okay, let's let's open up our template <coughs> console. Um, div slider item. Okay, let's add a div and class name is slider item mm -hmm. and another div outer info class name yeah and then inside the div um, i have an image and heading eight heading six sorry so let's add image and this will be a dynamic data um, retrieve from a feature image and heading six mm. all right heading change the tag to six and then add a post title and inside that we add a span tag and add a dynamic data which is SCF but we won't see that we will not see that because uh, we have not I have not reload the page um, let's see let's see let's see image oh, i need to change the image to feature image all right and let's use like a thumbnail size heading mm, span add a c app occupation hey, yep author info okay info okay below author info we have a paragraph um, with a testimonial um, text so let's add a basic text and change to the paragraph post content yeah here yeah you can add like a post content element too it's i think it's um it will be same except that the, the, the basic text um will not generated a, a html tag inside that but I don't need a paragraph because I don't need a uh, multiple paragraph because the testimonial slider is uh, somehow like only one paragraph like just one or two line or two sentence ok 
Okay. Oh yeah, let's see, let's see. Ooh, why the heck is like this? Oh yeah, I forget to enable the query loop on the slider item since yeah this is slider item and we need to retrieve the data from the custom post type use query loop and change the post type to testimonial and yeah it's done i think oh what, what is this why the heck is oh i think something wrong with the tag maybe inside the basic text nope maybe inside the heading span nope wait a minute wait a minute why this has a big blue background huh diff basic text hmm it's interesting um, let's see let's see there is nothing wrong with the cost but with the ah damn it the tag which the the, the, the text which I copied which I copied to this the HTML tag is following copy it and then let's um, cleaning up the content Oh, what is this? What is happening? Yeah, be careful when you copy it. Um, the content from the web page inside the, the post content area. Okay, let's see, let's see. Oh, this is nice. Okay, nice. Um, this is not working good. It's not looking good on the builder. This is what I um, I'm f afraid of if if you're gonna using like the script from the template See Because the 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 structure within the builder is different uh, uh, With the front end should I leave it like this or should I create it a using um, slider element like a stable slider here so on the builder it will look good um, but I think it will too much um, uh, too much need require an effort yeah, as long as the front end is good, yeah, I think it's fine. Yeah, yeah. And uh, I'm I'm gonna just leave it like this because um, usually uh, I don't give the the client access to builder. I'm I'm, I'm creating a theme option using a uh, SE app here so the content um, can be edited outside uh, the builder uh, this is that is the most safest way better than uh, let the client have an access to this builder so it's fine I think 
Alright then, let's see what's next. I think I can um, finish one more section. Let's add another section called a pricing plan. Class name is price area. The div class is uh, inside that. The first child of that is container. Oops, oops, container. In the end of this, um series of videos uh, I think I, I will give you the link to download the template and the temp child if you wanna like um, use this as for your maybe small project or just like personal project oops you can use that row okay call we have one two two div span it's two so it's one two span and heading heading two okay one put inside put in a put in ah it's hard to move around the element because i experience some lagging as always <coughs> let's start uh, copying the class name all right and then um, add attribute data will delay 0 0.1 second Span class subtitle span change the tag to span add a class name subtitle and let's put the text okay and heading to just no class name on this tag just change the tag to heading to and put the text now um, let's create a um, three column for um, different price plan pricing plan so below the row there should be a new element with a class name um, Div class row, okay. So like uh, pricing, name it pricing uh wrapper. and row. Okay, one two row call. It's div div. Later, I'm gonna I, I'm gonna just make one and then copy uh, duplicate the element because I think it has the same style only different content different text and image 
pricing wrapper this is raw i think uh, yep the raw justify content and let's add hey let's put the call inside the row Mm, yep, yep. And we have another div. Um, let's say um plan wrapper too many wrapper well as long as you uh, know it, 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 it's 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 it depend on um, what the naming system you comfort comfortable with like the behavior of um, what you're doing when renaming something I don't wanna thinking more thinking. Uh, think too much about naming system. As long as I remember that, I think that's fine. Data wall delay. Oops. Attribute. Oh, oh my god. One point zero second. Okay and let's add to another um two div one two price stop price button okay price stop price stop <coughs> and price button oops I need to close this tab since I always jump to the tab press button all right price stop we have a heading 5 h5 tag mm, personal use S um, I don't want to create a custom post type since the pricing plan uh, will not have a dynamic data like it's it um, usually it doesn't has a many item and it's static like it it um it only change for some special occasion time so i will use static aja h5 basic text heading basic text and image element so um, on the top heading basic text and image element okay heading 5 now we don't need to add an, a class name heading 5 basic package and paragraph should I use pen or paragraph? Yeah, the ideal is using pen, I think. No paragraph, but we need to see that this. See, there is <coughs> a, a CSS that target the, the paragraph tag, the p tag, the p tag. So I need to um to change to the paragraph since I don't wanna um change the custom apa the CSS into the span. I, I'm just gonna follow the the HTML structure, the image is asset image price price, okay let's see on my folder asset image price price, one, two, okay. ok 
Okay, this is the first. Yep. Um, yeah, I think the, the, the price top is done. And let's see the price bottom. The ah oh, no 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 the price top actually have a, another diff to show the 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 price amount. So I need to create a diff and with a span three span inside that. So diff basic take basic take basic take. So on the price top, <coughs> I need to create diff and three basic text element okay let's move the basic text to the div we created oh come on oh my god Ooh. we need to i need to really really careful since it's lagging div class price Okay, let's name it. Span price before. Span. Span class. Price before. And the currency symbol. All right and the basic text span with amount class name oh yep like this this is the number the price um span class period Change to span, add a class name, and then change the content. Okay. Yep, it's good. And yeah, the element on the price top uh, div is is done. Um, I'm gonna move to the the price button. Okay, there is the, the ULD, um, ULD, ULD, Li, I can use basic text and this is a div, okay. I'm gonna add some div and change the tag to UL custom and then put ul and add a class name all right so let's name it list and then i need to create basic text one two three four five basic text one two three four five okay The first is product recommendation. Mm, change the take to li. Yeah, I don't uh, know. I think I can duplicate. Yeah, I can duplicate that one, two, three, four. Let's um, change the content. Um, oh, oh my God! Oh, it's wrong. It's wrong. Uh, here. Yep. Nah, nah. Here. 
here this is this and this is the better way i think hello hello by <laughs> hello 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 mr vicky um yeah 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 uh, i don't have any like um schedule for lip streaming i i, I i'm doing it uh, when i have a really really free time so there is no actually schedule for doing that but thank you for watching um let's add um link to the button but it's not button tag it's a link tag so i need to create a like basic text S um let's see inside uh below the below the ul so i need to create a basic text and then change the, um, the html no, no no i need to link to and maybe um, choose uh, internal page so we can choose like um, where we're gonna point pointing the the url the button um, let's add a class name and then add a text let's put the content yep i think it's done okay let's see on the front end how it will look like all right all right um something wrong now nope nope okay ah yeah yep i think it, it's it's already same it's already similar what do you think about that so the left is what i need to do is just i just um duplicate the column and then we will have a three a different uh, pricing plan item oh my god it's so slow some people actually um experience the same thing with me like slow on the builder when they have many many element but uh, i heard that the bricks team already solved it and it might be this issue might be fixed by the next release i hope so let's see because this lagging this lagging issue is really really make me uncomfortable i cannot do um it's slowing me down when i'm building the page as you can see it's lagging thing see i need to wait like um several seconds to actually uh, see the the change but anyway let's um, replace the content with our actual content let's put uh, let's change the image see there is uh, like waiting i need to wait for like five or or ten seconds to get the the change working and i'm having to wait that since it can lower our productivity right waiting with legend is like this um yeah the, the item is same you see nothing change between uh, these three item the only difference is like the title the subtitle and then the um the, the price and the image um personal use oh yeah yep 
the image ya the price is actually higher all right so let's save it <coughs> And let's see. Yeah, I think it's it's similar. Yeah. Nothing weird come out, right? It's similar. Yep. This is the template and this is the the bricks web page. Okay, let's see uh, on the responsive uh, screen. Um, okay, this is slider. It's working fine. The arrow is working fine, and yep, this is the pricing plan table. Yeah, it's it's look good. Same with the template, I think. Um, let's see on the iPad Air. Yeah, ah, yeah, oh, nice. So when um on the tablet screen the the table the pricing table will become a two column yeah it's quite good i think yep yep yep, yep. okay let's see let's see can i finish ah this is i i think i can finish this section this is the, la the last section um in a home page so i think i can finish that i, I can finish this okay Let's see, let's see. Let's see the HTML tag as usual. And the section class name is blog area. Oh yeah. Soon you will heard Azan in my place and maybe it will distract. Um it will make um uh, my voice is like overlapping with the Azan sound, but I hope you uh can understand that since yeah my home is really really close with with musk the section block list and let's change the tag to section yeah this section and add the class name to to the element the blog area yep Oh yeah, forget, forget. I forget. Like some people mentioned that if we um, clear our revision history, and it might uh, improving uh, the page builder, like maybe resolving the the leg itself. Let's see. Okay. 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 Should I refresh or not? I think I should refresh it and see whether the deleting the revision and history make um, the builder more responsive, reducing the lag. Nah, nah, it's not working. I guess for this lagging issue, I we need to like wait for the developer to solve it and okay let's let's continue building the last section for our home page yeah actually you can ask me um, anything and if i know the answer i i will help you I will maybe uh, or we you can we can like share something custom container web and we have two two div inside the container the first is row the second is blog post area okay um let's add one two three one two three div span is basic text heading two is heading so three div and then basic text heading two so let's one two three basic text and heading okay the first is row 
Uh, that's that's the azan here. I'm sorry if 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 the sound if my sound will overlapping with azan, but yeah, I hope I hope you un understand it. Row and if class call. Okay, name it's call. Oh yeah, wait wait. <coughs> my room is dark. I need to um, turn the light on. continue let's move the call the column to inside row and we have a div inside the call uh, ah. add a class name and add uh, attribute <coughs> um which one oh yeah we're gonna move the basic text and the heading into the div Oops, 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 oops. Okay. Span class subtitle. Change the take to span and add the class name. And let's put the content. Okay. And change the heading take to heading 2 to h2. And let's put our content. All right. Yep. That's right. Let's move to our another div below the row. So, this is the row. I need to add div below that. Okay. And add a class name. Let's see block this um wrapper. Okay, one. Yeah, I need to add like uh, first is one div aja dulu. Change to the row and oh, so lagging. Now it's so lagging. Okay. And this is the, the, the dynamic data. That means that I will uh, need to retrieve the item from the post. But since I don't have any post item, I need to create that first. Yeah, there is only hello world post. Um, let's add something. Oh yeah, here. No, no, no. I think the uh, yeah, yeah. The title is same. So let's just this is the author name, and this is the date, the published date. Um, so for now, I don't need to add a post content since there is no post content showing up on here. But this is the category. So this is the category and let's add a what's that travel travel and let's set the feature image hmm asset image block let's uh, let's see on the HTML folder asset image block hmm yep. Okay, I'm gonna drag the 
the future image for the three posts. The first is the green one, okay. Yep, the green one. Yeah, I think it's done. And let's add new and um, the category is tech technology. Span class. Ah, yeah. Huh? Ah, okay, okay. Technology. Mm, let's set image. Let's add another pause. Um, travel, okay. Travel again. Travel. Set the feature image. With this one. Yep. All right. Let's see. Let's see. So what should I do now? I should creating just one element and then I'm gonna enable the query builder, uh, the custom query for that. So let's add row and div, change to the column. and mm, we need to enable the query loop query post post and post per page is three yep okay so one two three i need to add a three div one two three and put the, the second div inside the first and put the third div into the first okay like this and let's add a class name single blog okay single blog And the first div is, um, let's add class name to the first div inside the single block, uh, block top. And the second div is block content. The first div has a image wrapped by link. Mm, okay, okay. Image wrap by link. Okay, so let's add image and then change uh, the source image to dynamic data. Um, put the feature image. All right, let's wait. Okay, and I think the 700 is enough and link to oh yeah don't forget to uh, disable the caption and link to uh, other we're gonna link to the post uh, post page the post detail so um, choose dynamic data and then link it to the post um, Post link, yeah, like this. Post URL. Yep, I think. Yeah, and then don't forget to add a class, blog term, and let's see on the front end first, because I want to make sure that the class name is um, assigned to the a tag. 
not to the image tag a c class oh yeah here a class a class block time a class block time okay that's cool all right and then we need to add a what else what else a ref category travel class category travel okay mm, let's see i have a snippet actually but i forget where where do i put aya here so just let's use the tag to retrieve the the category and then we can uh, link it like ahref um, this is hard class category ahref here like class category and then taxonomy taxonomy slug or we're gonna change it to the category slug category slug mm, taxonomy category yeah is that good is that um, the right slug category and then let's Mm. Yeah, put the, the function inside the basic text so this image add a basic text and <coughs> put the function name into the basic text and let's see No, nothing show up. Ah, oh, yeah, forget. I, 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 I did not save the file. Okay, let's see. Ah, uh, nah, why? Um, eco custom show tag current post. Is that because my 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 category is wrong my category slug is wrong ah no no it's not my category wrong but i put i put the wrong no i edit i am edited the wrong file so it should i should edit this but instead i edit this one different file so i think it's it, it it's not it's not gonna work okay let's put class category 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 yeah all right all right, all right. i think this will work it should work ah nice okay nice see if we hover uh, uh, hover the the category it will link to the category the, to the archive page okay if we hover the image it will link to the post and uh, detail page so i think yeah, that's good and then, then we're gonna move to the blog content area um so this is the blog top um, i'm gonna rename the the div blog top and this is a blog content all right um i need to add heading heading and with a link okay 
so add um, heading heading 3 h3 oh so slow why you so slow okay heading 3 and change the content source to the post title heading 3 oh, okay and yeah I think it's heading 3 yeah heading 3 let's see yeah but I the font weight is different right something wrong here I uh, I did not link the title to the post URL post link okay here ah, now the font white is better it's similar it's same with the template see okay good now the last the last section is uh, the last content is um, we're gonna add div uh, below the heading another div and let's add a class name blog button okay name it um, pay class author okay we have double pay tag mm, okay the first is author so basic text um, pay change the content source to dynamic data and see author name and then link to uh, dynamic data select the dynamic data and choose author um, no author URL or archive hmm which one here I think it should be like term no post date post link post content post excerpt read more uh, site title site URL archive title term archive URL I think this because um, the author page is is the archive of um, the author force right so huh? no admin 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 yeah no no term but um, I, th I think I'm gonna skip this first um let's move to the second the last content of our um home page change author name use the post date ah uh, yeah okay um Add, uh, I, I forget to add class name to this this is the author and the date class name is date for the second element here all right now it's moving to the right okay let's see let's see let's see 
Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. All right, by ah, there is a pretext before the author name. It's by, so by space author name. All right. Oh no no not that one this one. By admin okay. Now you do, you, you you should not display the login name on the front end. You need to create a first name like Ivan Nugraha and then display name publicly 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 as this not the admin. Yeah, yep. This is better. This is better. So the thing that I did uh, that that I have not do is um, pointing this uh, author name into their respectively um, URL, the archive URL, the author page URL. Yep. 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 yeah i think um all the content on home page is done um now it's already one hour and i need to do some uh, other tasks maybe making some coffee and then just chill chilling out watching some youtube anyway thank you for watching it's vicky here thank you for watching and if you have any question please write down on the comment box below if i know the answer i will um, I'll share with you um, and it's saturday of course tomorrow is holiday so take your time to rest maybe if you have like uh, like a bad day on 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 the, on the day before. So um, yeah, happy weekend and happy coding. Thank you. Terima kasih. Bye bye.